I'll be honest with you, like, I hate the fact that Newcrest is empty. Simmers were crying for ages, like, we want an open world so we can have more lots in the game, and EA's response to that was just to give us this world with loads of empty lots. I'm just not keen on it. I feel like they should have just given us a world with some empty lots, but just added some more nice ones in. I don't know. I have actually already made some houses. These are houses that I've made ages ago. So this is one of them that I put on Beach Byway, 30 by 20 lot. I have gone hard on the packs, I know. I think it looks okay for me. I'm not one of these people that loves to like horrifically clutter every single build. Like I like it to be quite clean. So this is what I've done with this lot. And you know, I have used a lot of packs. So this is our little laundry space that I put in here. It's a little bit cozy. It's our nice open kitchen. I do love open kitchens. We've got a pet food bowl in here so we can have pets here. I put some more activities outside. Next up, in the cookout lookout area, I've been making a cafe, a sweet little looking cafe I'm trying to do. See, when I'm doing the world save as well, I'm trying to think about it from a gameplay perspective. So realistically, like if there's too many seats, too many things to do, it can wreck a little bit of havoc in the game. So I've deliberately, you know, like not placed that many seats down. Oh, is that a coffee cup on the floor I see? <laughs> Let's pretend that wasn't there. But on the other side of it, I've also made like a little, I don't know, like recreational area with a little kids play area here, a couple of PCs. I've been working on doing the back of it as well, some outdoor things. It's still not done yet, but I'm just showing you the work in progress of this little area so far. Today, we are in the 20 by 15 lot, the, you know, the one in the back right corner, and we're making a micro home, comfy cubby, or I guess just a tiny home residential. I actually Googled tiny home sims for, and I found this random image on Google that I like, and they're gonna say, Sat, you're copying, you're cheating, where are at? Shut up, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I do not care. Guys, seriously, if you want to work on your building, copy what other people have done. Directly copy it. Be a cheat. I promise you, it is the best way to learn. It really is. So I'm going to try and make something based on this. Although it is really, really tough keeping it as a micro home. I'm not sure if I want to keep it a micro home or if I'm going to cheat and just make it a small home. I feel like that would be a lot easier to do. I mean, we could try and make it a micro home. That is very, very small, I admit. I may have underestimated estimated this challenge. Although one thing I find kind of dumb about the pack is if you place foundations, it counts towards the lot size, the tile size, which I think is so weird. I mean, being realistic, guys, I think I'm going to have to make it tight. I'm giving up after the first hurdle. <laughs> but like, realistically, I think I'm going to have to make it a tiny home instead of like a micro micro home, just because like otherwise it would literally be like impossible. And you know, this isn't like, oh, a fun build challenge. Like I actually want to make it look nice at least. So it does give us a little bit more to work with if I do it that way. But stealing the thing I found off Google, I kind of want to make it look like there's a nice upstairs balcony area to sit in. I mean, The Sims 4 Without Seasons anyway has an endless summer, so it's all fine. They kind of curved it up in that picture as well. I think it makes it look quite cool and modern. I like it. Thick, girthy roof trim on there. Not the biggest fan of the thick ones. They're a bit more painful. I'm sorry, every time I do a build video, I always give you loads of overshares. <laughs> I'll try not not to do it this time. I would like to make this just a little bit bigger or that go over our budget. I say budget, what I mean is size. I think that's okay. Let me just bring this in. So we have enough room for like a little kitchenette, maybe a living room, maybe a bed. Who knows if we're lucky. I kind of wish tiny living actually came with like a nice proper bed because it doesn't really come with, I mean, it comes with the sofa bed thing, but it's the same size as a double bed, which defeats the point. So I don't really want to use it, but I feel like this is a great basic shell to start with. The one on Google is quite modern, which is nice, but I would also, you know, I wouldn't mind it being a little bit more cozy as well, you know? Is modern cozy a thing? I just feel like that would help it to piece together a little bit nicer. Although I'm not sure, guys, what we're gonna do about the roof trims, because they're clipping over this little fence. I mean, do I bring them both in? Not sure how I feel about that, unless, okay, sometimes, like, a little half wall might do the trick. That's a little bit tall, maybe a bit shorter like that. It blends in a little bit better. I mean, do we even want this or do we want it like flat? Would flat look a bit better? I'm not too sure. we we'll keep it flat for now. In the one that I'm stealing, they use these glass panes and I'm going to use them too because I like it. Oh, do you know what guys? I feel like we need to cinch this bit in. I do. Otherwise it's just not going to work out, is it? Unless what if we like brought that in? We could even make it like a little sunroof at the front. I didn't even think about doing that. Maybe bring this wall around. Would it be cozier with a little sunroof on top? Something like that. We could always make it like a proper eco house. I feel like that'd be a cool idea for a little tiny living lot. Something like that to get some natural light in. It is very unrealistic.
this sick. Although, like, in real life, okay, I feel like you would have some kind of screen above it or some way to, like, close it with blinds that go across. But obviously, this is a sim, so we can't do that. Maybe something like that. I actually really like the panelling that comes with the Growing Together pack. I think it looks really nice. So we could always use some of this in some way around it. I mean, I don't mind the orangey wood that we can use. I mean, to be fair, I'm actually a bit of a fan of the big Grown Together window here as well. You know, it's quite nice and modern. Maybe it suits like a modern cosy aesthetic with our big open plan thing here. I don't want to put too many windows around just because we have this big one and it wouldn't really make enough logistics sense. But you know, we can always change things as we go along. So it's not a major deal. By the way, I've decided to break it up a little bit. I've decided to place this here. I'm not sure again if I want to change the wall to, you know, something maybe a little bit more stony like this or if you want to keep with the metallic look i'm gonna have to wait and see i might change it also i still really want to bring the eaves out on this it just clips through it's so annoying the way it clips what if i go back to the big roof trim the problem with the big roof trim though is it causes a glitch with the glass roof showing off and it's very distracting oh i don't know guys unless i bring the inner one in and just leave the other two out like this then i could go back to the other roof trim i like maybe although it's clipping upwards these annoying glass things. I'm really not a fan of how glass roof trims in The Sims 4 are so glitchy. But it's fine. It's not like it's my fault. It's The Sims 4's fault. So I'm not sure if I want glass like the whole way up here, to be honest. We could have it like half and half, maybe. Maybe we could just have like glass on one little bit. The only alternative option I can think of is to use a glass roof object that came with Iron Living. This is like the only other way I could see potentially doing it. Would something like that work? Unless we made those a little bit bigger and just had a couple in so it fitted a bit more nicely that way. Not sure how you feel about that. I mean, I guess we could roll with it. But then we lose the depth of the top, which I like. No, it's going. I don't like it. <laughs> it's all a part of the process. So the ugly roof is back. I'll just maybe put a roof trim around there. I guess that's as good as we're going to get in terms of dealing with it for now. Feel like that'll be okay. I mean, if we make the upstairs bit a room, shouldn't that get rid of the roof? Or am I being dumb? No, it doesn't get rid of the roof if we made that a room. Oh, well, it'll have to go. At least I tried. I've just added some plants around here too at the front, especially some lavender. Guys, we literally need to save the bees. I don't mean to be political, but the bees are literally dying. Plant some lavender in your garden if you hadn't done so already, please. It is a necessity. Bees are the key to our future. I'm not being dramatic. Plant some if you don't have any already. As a social media influencer, I'm using my influence, guys, to say plant lavender. Also, you know, I wouldn't mind some leaves kind of flowing at the top. You know, maybe something small like that. I think it'll be quite hard to put it off though. Maybe some hanging fern. Although I don't know if that's maybe a little bit too much. Though I do love these on the door. That's quite quirky and fun, isn't it? Nah, I genuinely do like that. Unless we put them on the inside. You've got to walk through some jingly balls to get in your house every day. I like that. I think the inside is going to be horrific as a small home. To be fair, I'm thinking of keeping it quite modern internally. Oh, I do love growing together that came with this little shower cubicle as well. It is nice, I admit that. Even though the build stuff in Growing Together is very tiny, it is nice. I do admit I like it. Also guys, I don't know about everybody else, but I always put light switches in my house now. The ones that came with the bathroom clutter kit, like I can't not do it. It just feels like a necessity. Though you see the inside, what are we going to do about bed? I will work on the walls and flooring. I think I am going to change it, but I mean, we could always have a sleeping bag. <laughs> Thanks to Growing Together, we could sleep in there. I mean, this little toddler bed would have been cute if it was an adult size bed. See, like, are we just gonna have to put a sofa bed here like this? Or do we have it as kind of like a, a room divider to separate out the kitchen space? I don't know. I mean, we could do. That would be very, very, very difficult to work with. Maybe we could go for the full on, you know, Murphy bed set. Have an archway into the kitchen, something like this. I feel like that could be better. And then at least we can fit in a bookshelf. I'm just concerned, you know, how do we actually now place kitchen counters in here? Because it's very small. Oh gosh, I didn't think it through. Unless we make like this back bit 
bigger. I mean, we're still within, I, by the way, if you didn't realize we're not doing the tiny home anymore, it's just gonna be a small home because it's difficult to do it if it's just too small. I can't deal with it. I mean, we could do, all we've got to do is make it like two tiles smaller. Although I can't think of really how to do that without it being a bit annoying. So maybe we'll scrap that. It's just a small home, it's fine. Unless, to be fair, this area here, we don't need that, don't need that. Now we just need to make it one tile smaller. <laughs> Although, see, no, there's not one single tile I wanna remove, not one. It's perfect as it is. I don't know about anybody else, but like I do do a lot of going back and forth when I make builds in The Sims 4. I can't help it. I'm feeling a dream home decorated kitchen. I feel like that would look nice in this kind of space. I kinda wanna make it like, so there's a lot of storage in here as well. I know it's not real, but if it was real, there'd need to be a lot of storage. I feel like this is quite cozy. And I mean, we could even put like a door out here to go to the outside as well from the back. Maybe a nice glass one here. See, that would work nicely. You see, look at how well it's all coming together. Although I completely forgot we needed a fridge. <laughs> That's a bit of an integral part of a kitchen. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> of all things I could have forgotten. Anyways, we got it now so you can breathe. In older Sims games, we had something called a trash compactor, which fits in kind of like a dishwasher, but we don't have those in The Sims 4. You actually have to have like a proper bin. We can't fit a proper bin. Not in the kitchen at least anyway, so I'm just gonna have to like leave it out of the kitchen. Just discreetly hide it here. I don't like it how it's like a centerpiece. Unless we just stuff it in this corner, no one's gonna know. So I've come to realize I actually really like the growing together packs build stuff. I use a wallpaper here. I've also use this photo album. I feel like when I actually come to like properly do it, I'm going to put family pictures in there or something. I think it's a cozy little space. If you guys have seen my build videos before, you know like I really hate clutter. It's just not for me, even in real life. Like I love big empty open spaces with literally just nothing in them. So the only clutter items that we have are these two things here. <laughs> oh, and a little dog calendar. I really love this little coffee table that came with high school years. I think it's really cool and I like the design of it is nice. Also, I am liking all of the dream home decorated because I think it suits the theme of this build very well. I love how we've got the big TV hiding the big open plan window. I mean, isn't that like a metaphor for real life? None of us look out of our windows because we're glued to our TVs. Not that most of us have a nice view. I don't have a nice view outside my house. That's why I like going to my grand's house because she lives in the countryside. Oh, see, I love this grown together lamp here as well. It is a nice build stuff pack. I admit that. It's just the pack didn't really come with enough. Like, growing together builds have it is so nice. There's just simply just not enough there. Although I'm thinking, like, with this bed, you're going to have to move the coffee table out of the way. So I can't have that there. See, this is why it defeats the whole point of the pack, because you can't put a coffee table there. I mean, I don't even know if I put a rug underneath, it'll glitch out. I haven't tested that yet. Like, if I do that, will it glitch out the sofa bed? I don't know. We're going to have to risk it. Oh, you see, the lighting from the roof is so overbearing. You can't even see the rug. That is an issue. I might have to go for a bit of a darker rug or maybe just something muted like this. I mean, the lighting changes in the game anyway. See, there we go. It's fine now. We pull a, a rock salt lamp on here. Keep it nice and cozy. Oh, actually, we can put the rock salt lamp in there. That's quite nice. We could have a... No, I, I don't want a Gen Z candle. I think these Gen Z candles that look like parasitic worms are horrific. Absolutely horrific. It's not cozy at all. We don't have a dining table, but to be honest, the thing is, if you lived in a tiny home, I doubt you'd care about having one like you just eat on the sofa. Do you know what I mean? We obviously need like fun stuff to do. So I'm thinking maybe we could fit a little desk in this corner. Again, I think it will have to be like a proper little one. We could go for a bigger one. No, we don't We don't have enough room. It's not happening. Although, oh, I do like this big one here. Like it would be nice. I know I can't do it to myself. I mean, we could always have like a bunk bed up here and maybe we could just have that. See that? Oh my God, guys, I am a genius. <laughs> I'm a fucking genius. Then we can get rid of this ugly as hell bloody sofa bed. Goodbye. Oh my god, I'm a genius. I literally am. Not being funny. See, that gives us a lot more room to work with. I mean, we can still only fit a two-seater sofa, but still. Kind of like the idea of making this a bit colourful. It's not really the British way to make it colourful, because we like grey things. But I guess it could work in The Sims. Now we can actually put the coffee table in a more reasonable space. But then the bed here. See, now that's all coming together nicely, that is. I'm well happy with that. Chuck a little desk in there. Can we fit a little gaming piece? 
see, we can. That is proper solid. I think it would be nice just to pull this little living room together as well if we had a nice little picture on the wall. I feel like there's so many paintings in The Sims 4, yet there's just like never the one that you really want. Like never something that would just be perfect for the space. I mean, could something like this do? There's so many like paintings hidden behind swatches. I think it can be quite exhausting to put paintings in The Sims 4. And that's a contender. I would like this space to be filled with a lot of paintings. I feel like the kind of person who lives here is quite a vibrant person and they like a lot of stuff in their house even though they've got a little tiny home. Now guys I am proud of myself for finding that little bed I am. I'm really chuffed. <laughs> the only thing is we don't have a chest of drawers to put all of our clothes in. That could be a spot of bother. What I'm thinking is we get rid of the bookshelf. We don't need it. We really don't. We could replace it with this which acts as like a wardrobe which I think is a really great use of space if you ask me. See again I do like this. See I am inclined towards the growing together build stuff. I am now. I wasn't before, but now I am. I do admit it is good. It is really good. I'm also thinking maybe in this little corner here, we could go for the dream home decorate and modular things because, you know, there is still a lot of space that we need to fill up, though it really annoys me how these are not bloody symmetrical. Like it really bugs me. Like you don't realize how much it bugs me that these like two middle pieces here, like you just can't make them symmetrical. Why can't you make them symmetrical? Unless we do it the lazy way and do like a, a pre-built one. I would admit it is really, really tough getting things to fit together with this for literally no reason at all and I don't know why. Maybe something like this in the corner is storage. You know, just chuck a couple of boxes of stuff in there. Chuck some shoes on the floor, like really pretend like we're struggling for space here. Well, we're not pretending because it's true. Although like I can put shoes on the second shelf, but I can't put them on any more shelves up. Sometimes if you actually turn the move object cheat off, it allows you to place things in properly. So no, it won't let me do it. Why can't I? Why have the upper display? display things if you can't actually put stuff in there. So I believe it's gonna have to be a move objects on job. There we go. Oh, oh my God, what am I doing here? Oh my God, I was almost deleting the hell house then. <laughs> Imagine if I deleted everything. Oh dear, that would have been an absolute nightmare. You know, I'm, I'm not against putting, you know, a little box in the corner here or something too. Like they're really strapped for space. So they're just putting everything everywhere. I don't think that's totally unrealistic. Although now we've got to move this little lamp back. I mean, we could just put it there. That'd be fine there. I think it's nice and cozy. Now for the outside, I'm thinking, you know, if it's a nice summer day, maybe we can have a nice little barbecue on the top here. Maybe, you know, just a little barbecue to save space. We could even have a planter pot up here, do a bit of gardening. I feel like, yeah, I did say before, like this would be kind of like an eco-y space. You can put a chicken coop. <laughs> I mean, it would technically fit if we put it this way. <laughs> we could have rooftop chickens. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna troll. I'm actually gonna try and make it, you know, nice. Though I don't like the back of it now. Oh my God, my game's frozen. Guys, the game's frozen. Okay, I'm gonna save because I have not saved for a long time. <laughs> I've also just put some spa day planter boxes around the top here, just to give it a bit more depth. You know, we could even put a little planter down here. Do you know what I mean? Just make it look really nice and cozy. Everything flowery. We could put some up here too, actually. That would look quite nice, wouldn't it? I'm gonna have to remove these pillars because they keep coming down. It's an annoying glitch and it, it just pisses me off. So they've got to go, I'm sorry. Also put some leaves along the stairs here. I think it just adds to it, makes it into a nice cozy space. Oh, you see, I'm not against putting a little trellis thing along here as well. Yeah, see, I do like that. Put one outside here as well. When it comes to plants, I do feel like more is more. We're basically just turning it into like a plant lover's house. See, we can even put this rack here from the blooming room kit. I literally never, ever, ever, ever use this because I think like, where am I going to put it? Like, what am I going to do with it? But actually it could look quite nice in this space. Though I think we should bring the entire lot down a little bit just so we have a bit more flexibility with the back garden. I'm not against this little bamboo gate that came with the snowy escape pack either. I think that looks really great in the space. I think it helps to just bring it together when it's enclosed off. It looks really nice. See, I got distracted. I was doing like a rooftop terrace thing here. Now I'm doing the bottom. <laughs> I always get distracted when I'm doing builds and I like flip flop between different things. Let me get back to it. I think we could have like a big planter box up here and maybe we could like have the sim plant a tree up there. That'd be quite cool. Although maybe see, I'm thinking we can put the barbecue downstairs, right? And put a flower arranging table up here and just make it kind of like a maker's space, like a space for like gardening and things. I think that would be quite cool. Seeing that I got the new greenhouse kit, I may as well use it. Put a little chest up there to store your different 
different seeds and stuff in. I'll chuck a couple more Blooming Room Kits plants in at some random places. Oh, see, I love that. Can we size that up and put that like on the roof? Would that work? I feel like that works. I do quite like that actually. It's a nice little touch. See, I've just been making this vision up as we've been going along and it's working so far. But I would also like to maybe just put a little seat up here. I feel like a little camping chair would be quite nice actually. It adds to the casualness of the space. Though so we've got a lot of stuff. I can't really fit it in. There we go. That'd be fine. I really hope they come out with a kit sorting method soon in The Sims 4. Why have they honestly not done it yet? It really stresses me out. Although I do wish this greenhouse kit came with a lot more stuff. Like it doesn't come with that much. It really doesn't. The one thing I need it for and it's not enough. Anyways, I think it looks nice and sweet as it is so far. I think it would be good to have a couple more planters down here. But predominantly, I want to maybe have a nice little barbecue. I love that barbecue. Do we want like a full on bench? Something here? I feel like that'd be good. I also wouldn't mind, you know, a couple of string lights back here. It makes it look quite cozy at night time. Adds to the ambience. They look like big saggy boobs. <laughs> Unless we got a smaller one, right? And we just put that up there. Now it looks like wonky testicles. <laughs> at least I tried. Again, even though this space is like a little bit cluttered up, I don't like everything to be too cluttered. Like I like a lot of open space. Maybe at a push, we could use a bicycle. Maybe just lean that against the wall like that and have a bike. Although it would be a bit weird in the back. I feel like the bike would need to be at the front. Do you know what I mean? Maybe we could, I don't know, lean it against there. See, that's not too bad there, is it? Should we have a sailboat? <laughs> Maybe a little drain here for realism. Maybe I could put the bench over here instead, shuffle it around a bit. Or do I, no, I want to put that back. Guys, if it's not broken, don't break it. The only thing we're missing is books. I'm actually gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna place a bookcase here instead of that little painting there. Maybe that one fits quite nicely. Also, going with the theme that this is a tiny home, so they need a lot of storage. I will chuck this in the bathroom, just a little bit more storage, a medicine cabinet. Other than that, guys, I don't really know what else we could chuck in here. Do you know what I mean? So I'm proper proud of that. Let's go in straight on the gallery if you want it. I want to start doing building more. I know I'm not like massively a built channel, but I really want to start getting into doing building, especially nice little cozy things like this. So if you want to see any more built videos, let me know. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.